Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. Today I have with me Little Elliot. He is the character from Little Elliot, Big City, but I also have the creator, Mike Carrado with us. Hey, Hi, Mike. Rocco. Yes, and we have Claire Frederick from Merrymakers who created this Little Elliot. We, In a very, collaboration with yes, Mike. Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah, Besides Little Elliot Big City, there's a new Little Elliot. Yeah, it's Little Elliot Big Family. Oh, well, we're going to hear about that in a little while. But first, let's talk about Little Elliot Big City. So this is the first of the Little Elliot books. Right. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be a spoiler to tell us a little about it. Elliot is very little. He has some trouble navigating the city, uh, but he makes do. Um, and his favorite thing in the world are cupcakes. But in, uh, in the story, he's so small that no one can see him over the counter, so he can't buy a cupcake. The book actually is set in a period New York City. Yeah, yeah, it's the late 1930s. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, the illustrations really depict that. And a little Elliot finds a friend. Yeah, he makes a friend who's even littler than he is and helps put everything into perspective. And here we have uh, Mouse right there. There's Mouse. Yes. Claire, is it very unusual to have a character doll? It's unusual. These dolls are very special. They're based on really the, the books book. that we think speak oh. the most to children. Mm -hmm. well, there has to be a real reason for somebody to want a, a doll. So when we were introduced to Mike's work, we seized the opportunity. I mean, clearly it's a knockout of a book. I think it has broad appeal. So we went to Mike and asked if we could develop a doll. And Mike said? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand times yes. So you uh, look at uh, the book, then you create the prototype. And you have the first prototype? We came up with this one for the first round. Oh. We do the very best we can. We try to really capture the character. Then we send it to the author illustrator for review. and. We go to a whole nother level of detail, of really the feeling, the depth of the character. Every little tweak, every little spacing of the eye. Let's talk about the refinements. Well, there's uh, first, <laughs> that's first draft, or yeah. first uh, prototype. Mm -hmm. And this is final, Elliot. And, but then there were, there were two other. Uh, so do you recall some of the things that you commented on uh, with the first prototype? Well, I know that uh, I wanted the, the ears to be a little less floppy. Um, and if you turn sideways here, uh, the head in the final is a little rounder. And there's kind of a different swoop of the <laughs> trunk there. Oh. Um, and you'll notice the polka dots are a little more evenly spaced out. Yeah. They're very specifically placed. Yeah. Mike and I had a long conversation on the phone. I want the pink one here and the blue one there, and then I want the blue one here and the pink one there. Yep. So I wrote it all down, and this is what came out in the wash. Wow. Yeah. This is very interesting. So when was uh, this Elliot born? It was last, it's been uh, almost a year on the market, yeah. I think, uh, and he's selling very well, and he'll be uh, supporting the second book when it comes out, so it'll be nice. We'll chase that Mike's book tour with the dolls. That's right. And speaking of uh, book tours and books, so are there any plans? I know that's occasionally that they'll package a book and a doll together. We never know. Oh. And we have developed a smaller doll that might be suitable oh. for that oh, purpose. That. You, Mike, now, Mike hasn't this seen this one yet. This is an unveiling I of the met. little, 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 Elliot. little Elliot. 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 Look at that. Oh, that is, yes, look at that. <laughs> My big brother. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, um, the little Elliot plush is going on tour on his own without me around the country. How is that? Uh, Macmillan is sending him to schools all over the US and he's bringing a little box of treasures with him that the school gets to uh, put their own treasure in and send it on to the next place. Oh, isn't that great? Because in, um, in Little Elliot Big City, there is a sort of box of treasures, right? Yes. So there'll be a uh, treasure box or a box of treasures right. and little Elliot going to schools. Right. It's almost like a, uh, a capsule 
that will travel and each school will add something to it. Exactly. Why an elephant? Well, I think elephants are very sweet. They're very emotional. They remember things. Elliot is actually based partially on a stuffed elephant character that I had as a baby. Oh, really? Yes. And you have the little the stuffed animal now? I have a, I bought a replica of it oh, on yeah. eBay. Uh -huh. well, my mother says it's somewhere in our attic. It was white with, you know, pale blue ears mm -hmm. and it had a wind up lullaby key. So my mom used to wind that up and let this elephant sing me to sleep. Well, that's a great story. Yeah. So, so this little Elliot sits next to that elephant ah, so in dear. my studio, yeah. So recently uh, there was a viral video of uh, a rat in uh, New York City who was uh, dragging a piece of pizza through the subway. And, but really it was Mouse who did it first. Here we have, right. we see him pulling it out of the uh, trash. So obviously a rat has read the book. That's right, yeah, he, he was feeling inspired, I hope, and <laughs> got his own slice of pizza. Yes, a, sl a slice of the pie, as they said. That's yeah. right, his own piece <laughs> of the pie, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the book? Basically, Mouse goes to a family reunion and Elliot is left to his own devices and he's walking around the city and he sees all different types of families and he is really happy to see them but then starts feeling a bit left out. So I guess we're going to have to read read the book to find out. Yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a happy ending. Well, that's Highs good. and lows though in that book though, huh? Yeah, yeah. It breaks your heart there in the middle. Yeah. Little Elliot is in a long line of uh, dolls We've been doing this more than 20 years. Try to identify the very, the very best in children's literature. The uh, beauty of it is that these, these books have longevity. If someone wants a little Elliot of their own, they could go to a bookstore? Independent booksellers, chain bookstores. We sell online, oh. uh, marymakersinc.com. Part of the job of uh, an uh, a book creator is to go out and meet your readers. So how do you do that? Well, I've gone on tour several times. I'm very lucky that Macmillan works with me and they set up all of the appointments. So I visit school classrooms, mm -hmm. libraries, bookstores. So, uh, so you must uh, go out and autograph in bookstores and things like that? Yeah, usually I'll do a reading if it's a classroom, I'll do a short presentation about how I work, and then I'll do a drawing demo, mm -hmm. and then I'll sign books. Claire, I understand that teachers enjoy using the Merrymaker dolls as part of their curriculum in school, and uh, how would they use Little Elliot? Well, with Little Elliot, uh, they might download the activity kit from Macmillan mm -hmm. on their website, and they... Um, could talk about, uh, they could do those activities, but they could also talk about the shapes and colors here on, um, on the doll itself. They can use it during group story time when the kids sit together in a circle and the, they would pass the doll around and that child would be the one to read a few sentences, a few paragraphs maybe, and then pass on. It teaches patience, it teaches knowing when it's your turn, vocabulary of course, and the reading skills. With Little Elliot in particular, you could do a little segment about the transaction itself, the, the money changes hands, you know, you can act these things out with the dolls. Try to get them to incorporate into the Common Core activities. Uh, I think in the activities they actually have a uh, recipe for cupcakes. So yeah, they that's good, actually, that involves yeah. math, yeah, yeah of And course. I have actually visited schools where they've made those cupcakes. We too. find that teachers have to be entertainers, teachers and librarians. They have to be larger than life. They bring in the props. They are d really delighted to have something to captivate the children. Little Elliot has a book one, uh, Big City. Book two, Big Family. And I just finished book three, Rocco. Uh -huh. It's called Little Elliot, Big Fun. Big Fun, okay. Yeah. Big Fun. Oh. Big Fun, it'll be out sometime 2016. 2016. Yep. Can you tell us, does Mouse go 
with Big Ben Elliott on this adventure? Oh yeah. Yep. Okay, great. They're still friends and they go to Coney Island oh, for oh. the day. Okay, yeah. great. Possibly Elliott's going to all 50 states. All 50 states. Yeah. Do you know when it actually starts? I believe it started already. Ah, well. Look. Get on board. Get on board. Yeah. Very good, Claire. <laughs> well, thanks for creating Elliot and, and thanks to Mary Makers for making a huggable Elliot. It's certainly our pleasure. So remember, until next time, give a kid a book in any format.